confirmed 147 new cases of COVID-19 after testing 2,831 samples, bringing the total to 1,618. The latest county to report a case is Nyeri after two tested positive of the deadly bug. And now panic has gripped residents of Nyeri County after it emerged that most persons who have been listed as close contacts to the first two COVID-19 cases have not been traced with efforts to track them heightened. The two patients who tested positive are being treated at the Mount Kenya Hospital isolation ward, while few of their closest contacts have been quarantined. Now, Ibrahim Karanja is live from Yeri with more on this development. Good afternoon, Karanja. It's great to see you. Talk to us about the situation in Yeri County now that it's one of the latest counties to record a positive COVID-19 case. Ibrahim. Well, good afternoon, Grace. Yes, like you have said, panic has gripped uh, Nyeri County and especially Nyeri Town where the, uh, these two cases were reported from the two confirmed positive cases of COVID-19, which are now the very first cases from this particular county. Initially, Nyeri was among the counties that had not reported any case of COVID-19, but now two patients confirmed positive yesterday. And just like you have said, most of the close contacts of the two people are still or have still not been traced. And that is the main reason why panic has gripped residents of this particular area. The two, uh, two confirmed cases yesterday were of ladies who aged 42 and 44 respectively, both living in Majengo uh, area. Majengo is an informal settlement in the outskirts of Nyeri town and they, ha they were living with their families. Their kind of job was that they were bartenders. They were working at a bar and restaurant here in Nyeri town and they were tested amongst six other people and four turned negative but the two turned positive now what we know so far is that three children their their, their children three of them have been quarantined at the Wambogo farm here in Nyeri while close to 50 contacts are still being traced but not uh, have, have not been found so that is, is the main reason as to why the residents are in panic but this uh, actually comes at a time when the county uh, was really prepared for uh, the fight against COVID-19 remember the two patients who have been tested positive right now are isolated at the Mount Kenya hospital isolation ward uh, we have also other contacts uh, who are being traced and some quarantined at the Kenya Medical Training College uh, in Nyeri town and also at the Wambogo farm. There is yet another case, Grace, of a truck driver who came to Nyeri at some point, actually de uh, delivered construction materials to a construction site in Herega, Madeira. And after the samples were taken from this particular driver, uh, much as he has left Nyeri, the samples have also confirmed that the driver was positive. Now, a Close to 123 people are said to have been close contacts of this particular driver from that particular site. And also they are being traced to be quarantined also for 14 days before they are tested and actually to see whether they will test positive for COVID-19 or not. Now, the most interesting or the most uh, saddening part of this uh, entire uh, revelation, Grace, is that the two patients who have tested positive were asymptomatic, meaning that they might actually have been uh, interacting with people in the society without exhibiting any signs and symptoms of COVID-19, thus bringing fear as to how many people they might have contacted, especially with their kind of job grace. That, that's all the time we had for you, but we do appreciate and of course stay safe. Let's all stay safe. And in the words of, you know, CS Mutai Kagwe, anybody can get it. Okay, so we're taking a short break here on News Desk, but stay with us. We still have lots more after the break. <laughs>